Oh yeah, who else has burnt cream while camping, huh? Huh?
Well, welcome back to another adventure. This week we are in Idaho, way up north. Last week was Montana, now we're in Idaho. <laughs> so far it looks like it's shaping up to be a wonderful day. I did have the sun come out and now I'm starting to see what looks like maybe a storm is brewing, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna have some snow. So I've got the tent all set up. Well, not quite all set up. I've got it pitched and then I've got my wood stove inside. So now I gotta just finish setting up everything and get nice and cozy, you guys. Let's do it. All right, so I've got my cot here, and I've also got this foam self-inflating mattress. Um, this will definitely help. Nice, dense foam. Just gotta let it kind of air itself up here. And then also, I've got my trusty sheepskin rug. I love this thing really makes things cozy nice and warm your uh, sleeping pad and sleeping mat are so important when it's cold out you guys you can have a really good sleeping bag but if you don't have a good sleeping pad you're gonna get cold now I've got my sleeping bags I've got two of them reason is is it's supposed to get down into the like teens tonight and I find that my zero degree sleeping bag just by itself uh, doesn't keep me all that warm when it gets down to those teen temperatures um, and I don't typically run the stove all night so I rely on my sleeping system so what I do is I get nice and comfortable with two sleeping bags it does the job the key to this is to also have them open on the same side <laughs> That is a big plus. All right, now for the pillow. Get it nice and fluffed. We are good to go. Well, while I'm talking about sleeping bags, this is a zero degree sleeping bag. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't. But zero degree sleeping bag means that you will survive at zero degrees. You will not be comfortable. Um, that means you can't take this bag and expect yourself to be all nice and cozy at zero degree temperatures. That is the survival rating. So it's zero degree survival rating. Um, so in order to be comfortable, you gotta be a little bit above that, maybe by, by maybe 20 degrees to be more comfortable. So that's why I've got two sleeping bags, cause I like to stay nice and cozy. Well, if you watch my videos regularly, you know that I can't go anywhere without my lamp. Gotta have my lamp. Also, if you're a regular to this channel, you know that I like to make things simple on myself. <laughs> I've got my wood all chopped and ready to go. Should be a good night. Like I said, I'm about that simple life. I come out here to enjoy myself, you guys. Once in a while, I might chop some wood, but hey, sometimes I'm gonna make it easy. And I sure like easy. All right, I'm all set up. So I wanna do a little bit of exploring really quick. I'm right next to a lake. Uh, you guys have seen this before, I've been to this location. But when I first got here, I met the uh, park host or the park ranger, I'm not really sure. He said he was gonna go over there and do some ice skating. And I thought that that would be really cool to see him doing that. Uh, so 
that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hike over there really quick and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he's still down there or not, but we'll go see. I just saw a vehicle take off, so maybe he's already gone. Oh, he's clearing it off. Whew. It is a cold one. <laughs> he is out there ice skating. That is cool. <laughs> How's it going? I, I got a fear that that, uh, that openness in the wind, it's going to get up under the ice and it's going to tear it up. Oh yeah. That would not be good. So I'm just doing just a little small area that if I want to come out and turn around, but hopefully it'll last for a couple of days. <laughs> That is so cool. So this is Lonnie out here. He is clearing an area to do some ice skating. That is so cool. How often do you come out here and uh, do some ice skating? Well, this is the first time in almost uh, seven years that it's froze, so we can do this. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. So take advantage of it when you can. He showed me pictures earlier of uh, when he was out here ice skating and it was beautiful. It was like glass and he was out here skating on the ice. So cool. It's my first time in like seven years since <laughs> it froze. That's about right. I had my hip replaced in 2017. So yeah. Wow. And again, so you can see there's the bottom. You can oh, even yeah. walk on out. In fact, if you want to look at this, it's, it's safe. Because if you blow through, it'll probably be up to your ankles. That's about it. So when we first came out, I took a big rock and I kind of stood back and pitched it and it broke through right there. So it was barely an inch. Right. But now I drilled a hole there and it's about three three inches. But I wouldn't go out past this. No, 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 no. You can no. see the big ice crack and... Uh huh. Yep, so as long as I just stay right in here, uh, you're, I think I'm you're good. safe, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're safe completely. I mean, even if you did break through, yes, you're just gonna have some wet socks, and that's why <laughs> that's why I don't go fast because if you were going fast, you broke through, you it would just oh, that would hurt, yeah, it would yeah, be bad. yeah, I could see that. Oh man, I, I could see playing some ice hockey out here or something like that. I remember as a kid too, we would do uh, street hockey, yep, and man. That was so much fun. Yeah, I did it. Just Sometimes it just takes a smile that sparks a conversation and it really can brighten someone's day. And I just want to say thanks to Lonnie. Thank you so much for inviting me down to watch you do something you have a passion for. It brought a smile to my face, and the conversation really did bless me. And I really want to be an encouragement to others. Show someone your beautiful smile, or give someone a compliment. It really does go a long way, and you just don't know how you're going to affect someone's day. We all have heard the golden rule, and that comes from Matthew 7:12. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Be an encouragement today. Share some kindness and some love to someone you don't even know. So thank you, Lonnie. Thank you for this moment, and thank you for this conversation. It really did mean a lot to me.
Well, that was really cool, you guys, to be able to see uh, somebody actually ice skating on the lake. <laughs> Something I haven't really seen before. Um, that was just really cool. Really, really cool. So thankful I got to see that. Just something special about a roaring campfire, you know, especially during the winter. It's comforting and you just have this like sense of safety around it. And obviously it keeps you warm. So many good things about a fire. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have dinner here in a minute. I'm gonna wait for these coals to kind of die down and then we're gonna cook up ourselves a burger. A nice burger.
We got some Sasquatch surprise potato chips. Oh yeah. Those look good. And some mustard potato salad. Why not? Oh yeah. That is a nice, fancy-looking burger right there. It's like a mushroom burger. It looks absolutely delicious. And I'm going to tear right into it while it's warm. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. That is tasty-looking right there. Got her nice and cooked. <laughs> got to make sure of that. So I've got a little bit of horseradish on there. Man, does it spice the burger up. Oh, I love, I love a burger cooked over an open flame because it gives you that like, that char, you know, and there's just nothing like it. It tastes so, so good. Has anybody had the Sasquatch chips? They're pretty good, actually. Mm. I love the crunch to a Tim's Cascade chip. They're so good. Oh, I'm going to dip it in my potato salad there. I'm one of those crazy people that mix food, you know. That is some good stuff. Man, the sky, it just looks amazing tonight. I've got the, the moon, it's kind of shining through the clouds, and then something really cool. Venus and Jupiter are like almost touching. So I snapped this picture and somehow I had the tent lined up perfectly with the stars in the background. It just looks amazing. I guess it's not supposed to happen again until like 2039 or something like that. So a very special moment. Very, very special. All right, time for some dessert. Creme brulee, or burnt cream, however you want to call it. We'll give her a little dust in here. 
of the good old sugars. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's going to make a tasty treat. Remember, safety first. Always. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who else has burnt cream while camping, huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, that's going to be so good. Looks good to go. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. That is going to be so tasty. Who likes creme brulee? I sure do. Mmm. Kind of put a top into the night right there. Got a nice campfire. Beautiful skies. Creme brulee. Mm. Fancy camping, you know. Fancy camping. This is kind of stylish. I think I got a trend going on here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get this thing started up. I'm gonna see if I can grab some coals from the fire. Bring them in here. See if we can get them started. Got a nice ember there. There we go. Let's see if that'll keep going. Get it nice and toasty in here. So it's currently 26 degrees Fahrenheit outside. 32 inside. I think it's colder than that though which is negative four Celsius outside, zero degrees Celsius in. So let's see if we can get that 32 to climb much higher. Close up the door, trap all our heat, make her nice and toasty. We got a nice fire going now.
Well, it's getting nice and toasty in here, you guys. We are looking at 25 degrees outside and 62 degrees Fahrenheit inside, which is really pretty warm already, which is negative four Celsius outside and 17 degrees Celsius inside. It's definitely warm. <laughs> and up top, I think it tells a different story. Let's see here. Up top, we've got 89 degrees up top. Whew. It is getting roasty. I'm definitely going to have to open up the door a little bit. And uh, yeah, you can't be a hot tent. It's cold outside, but yet here I am nice and toasty. Probably should take off my sweater. <laughs> Man, I had a good time today. Um, it was so cool to see Lonnie out there ice skating. It really made me want to get out there and try it myself. It's been a long time since I've been on the ice, as far as like ice skating. <laughs> we did some roller skating with the kids not long ago, but I haven't hit the ice in years. I'm sure I still got it. <laughs> Looked like so much fun though. I really did want to just get out there and try it myself. I'll have to do that in another video maybe. Pick up some skates and clear off the ice. As long as it's safe. As long as it's safe. The ice always makes me nervous. <laughs> so I was talking to Lonnie. He was telling me that there was deer that traffic all through the trees out here. So I put the trail cam out there where I think a high traffic area is. And I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll have something on the trail cam tonight. I guess we'll find out in the morning. Well, it's getting late and I'm pretty tired. And I'm ready to just kind of bed down and relax. I think I'm going to watch a movie tonight, though, on Pure Flix. It's going to be Rudy. I saw that on there and I haven't seen this movie in a long time. So I figured I would uh, check it out. I remember liking it when I watched it last time. Rudy's based on a true story, and it says a working class boy intent on realizing his dreams of playing football at Notre Dame. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this movie before. Um, I have, but I just haven't seen it in a long time, so I figured I'd watch it tonight. Give me something to do on a long winter's night. All right, well, I'm going to hit the sack, watch my movie, relax, and I will see all of you in the morning. Good night. Thank you.
Oh, well, good morning. Oh. It's chilly. It's chilly. We got, uh, we're looking at 28 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative two Celsius. And I believe that is the same temperature inside the tent. <laughs> it's chilly, very cold. So we had quite a bit of winds last night and then it started to snow, which you can see it accumulated here on the tent a little bit. Oh man, not a ton, but I could hear it coming down all last night. So I think it's supposed to snow the rest of the day too. So it'll be an interesting one. Well, I'm gonna heat it up in here, get it nice and toasty, and get back to my comfort zone, you know? Be cozy, cozy hot tent. <laughs> Well, this morning I'm gonna have an espresso and I got this little mini espresso maker. I'm just super tired, so maybe an espresso will help wake me up. Get this thing going here. Got our espresso beans. Give that a nice little fill up. Okay. That snow's coming down good now. All right, here we go. Now we just got to pump it out. So you just take this open it up and then pump it to get that nice espresso Ooh, look at that. Nice creamy looking espresso. Nice little shot of espresso to wake you up in the morning, I hope. Man, that snow's coming down. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Ooh, I got the, the like creamy part from the top. That was tasty. Boy, that's gonna amp things up. That's for sure. <laughs> I mainly got this little espresso maker so after like a long hike, I could just whip that out and make a little tiny espresso for a little energy, you know? <sighs> this is the first time I've used it on video. I've used it at home though. And it makes a nice little espresso, that's for sure. All right, let's see what it looks like out there. It sounds really bad, but I don't know that it is. <laughs> it's coming down. Oh. 
Ah, all right. This is gonna make for a good day today. I love the snow. It presents its challenges, but it sure is pretty, I tell you what. Especially when it's falling down like this. Oh yeah, that's a nice little espresso maker. I like that thing. Pretty quick and easy. Lightweight, should make a, a good companion on some paddling trips or hiking trips. You never know. I'm a coffee person, always gotta have it. Woo! I got that fire going in there. Well, now that I've had my coffee, I think it's time for some breakfast. All right. This is going to be an interesting recipe. Shelby found this on Pinterest. So we're going to give it a try. We got to take our tomato and kind of slice it into little chunks. I try to do this evenly. Now we just take out the innards. Kind of do a little something like this. Okay. Now we've got a sausage here, a little sausage link, pre-cooked already. I'm just gonna kind of chop it up. Into the bowl. Add a couple of eggs to that. A little bit of flour and some cheese. Very interesting looking breakfast meal. It's like a, uh, I don't even know, scrambled egg tomato or something. All right, let's try that flip on that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that one did work. Very interesting looking dish. Okay, I think they are 
pretty much done. Two of them came out okay. One, two. But this one kind of got destroyed. Yeah, it fell apart. <laughs> oh well. Looks interesting. Dearly Father Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day. The snows are coming down and it is just so beautiful. I thank you for the opportunity to come out here and witness it. Father, I continue to just pray for this world, Lord, the things that are going on. And, and Lord, I just pray that if there's one out there that just needs your help right now, Lord, whether it be cancer, whether it be sickness, or, or maybe they just need a job, Lord, I just pray that you will just be with them, that you will just answer prayers. Thank you so much for this time. Bless this food to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh boy! There you go. Tomato egg scramble thingy-majig. <laughs> We're gonna test her out. This one's kind of all messed up, so we'll go with that one first. Mm. It's not bad. That tomato is quite tasty, actually. It's got some nice flavor to it. Mm. Really, it's just kind of like presentation. It just looks cool. You could mix all this up and have the same flavors, but I don't know. It's kind of neat. Would I do it again? Probably not. <laughs> Man, I really can't believe how much that snow's coming down. Sounds like rain, but I think they call it grapple or something like that. And it's piling up. Definitely piling up. All right, I've got uh, camp all cleaned up. Now we gotta go find the trail cam. See if, uh, see if anything passed through it. I know where I put it, I just uh, can't remember how far I walked and maybe I walked further than I remember. <laughs> we'll find it. It's getting windy though. I gotta get out of here quick. Oh man, this thing is frozen. Hopefully, I don't know. Look at that. It's crusty on there. Probably didn't catch anything. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we got anything. Well, that's me showing up. I don't know what that is. This is at 5.30. Just wind, maybe? That's it. Ah, oh. ah, oh, man, you guys. Nothing on the trail cam. 
Oh, that's a bummer. It's a major bummer. I thought for sure we would have saw something. Oh well. Well, I had a really good time, you guys. It was so cool to see Lonnie out there ice skating. Definitely something I'd like to do one of these days. And I just had a good time in the hot tent. Well, I better get out of here. I've got a two hour drive and this little storm looks like it's gonna get nasty. So hopefully I can get home safely, you guys. So once again, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye! Wiley, Wiley, let's go. Where you been? I haven't seen Wiley all time. Hold up. Wiley, let's go. It's time to go. Where'd that fur hat go? What did I tell you about running off, huh? Don't talk back to me. No, I'm not wearing you. Who knows where you've been? Been out there in the wild. You're all cold. Get in the truck. We gotta go.